Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee with Dr. Stephanie. I am Dr. Stephanie D. Barnes. By day, I am a healthcare innovation attorney, but I am always the liberated lawyer. And for more thoughts on living a life that is joyful, fulfilled, and meaningful, you can visit theliberatedlawyer.com. Life is too long to be unfulfilled. And you know, I've got a question for you. What's in your cup? As busy CEOs of our lives, we are always filling the cups of others. We fill the cups of our loved ones with love and inspiration. We fill the cups of our teams in the workplace and marketplace with motivation and encouragement. But what is left for us? You cannot pour from an empty cup. So this is a little something for you so that you can serve others by overflow. And today, I want to fill your cup with living your Sunday best beyond Sunday. You know, I always think about my granny and I love my granny. And I remember in a particular drawer in my granny's bedroom, she had a drawer full of beautiful gowns and slips. Some of y'all don't even remember what slips are slips and underwear and all these beautiful things that she was saving for one day. She was saving the beautiful gowns. If she went into the hospital, she was saving the beautiful things for one day. And a lot of times we are saving the beautiful things for one day. Well, of course, when my granny passed, that drawer full of beautiful things was still there. She never got a chance to wear them. And I always think about, too, Sunday best. You can see I got a little something, something extra on today. I'm in my Sunday best. And the origins of Sunday best are rooted in a time where we could only experience freedom on Sunday. Many times we worked Monday through Saturday. Many of us, many Black women, were domestics and we had to wear uniforms or otherwise couldn't shine. And there are other situations where during the week, we had to do the bidding of others. We had to turn down our shine so that we could fit the molds and expectations that others had for us. But come Sunday, we could be ourselves. Black women have always used their hats and their hair as true crowns to express themselves on Sunday morning. They saved their Sunday best for Sunday. And this tradition has, has extended throughout the years. And we are still living our Sunday best or only on Sunday or only saving our Sunday best for Sunday. Now, I love to dress up for church. I love to dress up, period. The church I attend now dresses very casually. I love it. People come as they are. It is beautiful. I come as I am, which is this quite often. And I just love it. I don't do it out of tradition simply because I love fashion. And really everywhere I go, I kind of dress a little up for the grocery store, but lest I digress. But the truth is, you know, I love fashion and I love dressing up. It is an expression of who I am. I work from home, but I get up every day and get dressed. Sometimes I put on makeup, sometimes I don't, but I get dressed head to toe because I love it. It makes me feel good, even though no one else is going to see me from the waist down. And some days people don't see me at all. But putting on a great outfit is how I express myself and who I am. And as I was thinking about this, I was thinking, you know, we need to experience our Sunday best beyond Sunday. But I'm not talking about outfits. I'm not talking about the hat, the shoes, the dress. I am talking about experiencing the best of life today and not saving the best for one day. Because quite honestly, we don't know how long we have. We only know that we have this day. We don't even know we're going to make it to the end of the day. So why not Bring our Sunday best into every day. Bring the best of ourselves, our mind, our body, our spirit into everything. 
So as I was thinking about this, I was thinking, you know, here are three ways that we can experience Sunday best beyond Sunday. The first thing is we have to embrace the fact that we deserve the best in our highs and in our lows, today and tomorrow. You don't need a beautiful nightgown when you're in the hospital. You need a beautiful nightgown every night because you like beautiful nightgowns. You don't have to save it for the low, for the special occasion. There are certain special things that we should look forward to, but we should experience the best in all things. Stop waiting for one day to experience your best life. You don't need a special occasion to be special to yourself, to be special because you are special. Stop waiting for one day to experience the best things in life. Number two is realize that to attain the best, you must act like best before you achieve best. What do I mean by that? Let me break that down. You know, every action begins with a thought. And if you're thinking the worst, you're thinking you don't deserve the best, you're thinking that you only deserve the mediocre or nothing at all, well, that's how you're going to act. That's how you're going to show up. But what you look for is what you see. So when you look for the best in life because you believe you deserve that, then that's what you see. That's how you act. That's how you show up. When you see it, you act like it. And when you act like you are best, the best, the best of the best, you will become best. You will become the best. Number three, show up as your best self every chance you get. Don't show up half-assed. Don't show up like, mm, I'm just happy to be here. Don't show up like, mm, I'm just going to take what I can get. No, show up as your best, whatever that looks like. You know, it, and it's again, it's not about the physical appearance as much as it is the spirit and heart of who you are. So when you show up as your best self, you create an expectation of best from you, from others, from life. Best becomes second nature. You don't know how to do it any other way. Best becomes the standard. Use this feeling of best, showing up as best to elevate you to bestest. Hey, yes. So it is time for you to be your Sunday best every day. You don't need to wait for somebody to give you a day off to experience your best life. You don't have to wait for someone to give you recognition to live your best life. You don't even have to wait on anybody else to decide that today is the day I'm going for best. I'm going to be best. I'm going to show up as best. I'm going to be my Sunday best every day experience the best of you daily expect the best in all things show up as the best wear the sunday best of your life beyond sunday every day is a blessing and we are to step into every day like it is the best day of our lives because it is <laughs> i hope that you have your cup full of the Sunday best beyond Sunday, today, and every day. Here's to the best of you. Mm, mm, mm. So as you go throughout your day and your week, remember the best is reserved for today. The best is what you deserve every day. And of course, if you enjoyed this morning's morning coffee, I encourage you to Hang out with me for a Revelation Conversation where we can begin to pull back the covers of how you can live your Sunday best beyond Sunday. Remember, life is too long to be unprepared. Live your Sunday best today.